Blue is getting some major upgrades today. We're gonna put lockers front and rear, new chrome molly axle shafts up front, new lockout hubs, gonna drive down the road better. And while we're at it and we're already here, we're gonna check out tie rod ends. When it's sitting on the ground and you wiggle it, <laughs> one of those moves. All right. I remember it's this one or that one. Okay. So we're probably gonna do new joints, new ends, get this thing all buttoned up. Might as well, we're right here. Now's the time to do it. Here we are opening our locker. And my preferred lockers of choice, and this is not sponsored, paid for, or anything. However, Eaton, if you're listening, sup? Anyway, I run the Eaton electric lockers, the e-lockers. The blue truck, I want it to be able to drive down the road and go wheeling. So I want the traction advantage, but I want to be able to shut them off and drive it down the road with no side effects. So the only options for that is either electric locker or air lockers. And air lockers, I hate. You're always chasing air leaks, constantly. This is what we're putting in here. We have issues with it, then Paul can tell me neater, neater, neater. <laughs> We've got the diff cover off on the front. We've got all the tires pulled off. We're gonna rotate a couple. And we're going to add some small spacers between the duals. You can see the mark where they've touched, but there is no damage to the tire. They do touch because I run them at super low pressures. So this won't really show it until we get the axle shaft out. See that little guy right there? See that big monster right there? Yeah. So now that they, we've got them laying on the ground here, you can really see. So see the factory shaft after the seal housing next way down then runs up see in these 35 spine chrome mollies don't they stay thick all the way through this one hardly ever fails because it has twist it has torsion to it but these out here the big upgrade how this steps down and that barely steps down and then this is staying the same size as that where it steps back up onto the splines so i mean it's definitely a way beefier upgrade it's a lot stronger like I said, the biggest thing with these is the U-joint that you put in here because that's what's going to fail, almost always. The ones I run are the non-greasable spicer joints. So the non-greasable doesn't have, it's not drilled inside here. Having that hollow cross right here, that's your fail point. That's always where it's gonna break. Everybody else is gonna tell me I'm wrong and I'm dumb and I don't know what I'm talking about and they would be accurate, but works for me so we're gonna keep doing it. So this is all ready to go. We're gonna get these bearings pulled off. What we're gonna do is pull the bearings and the shims off, directly off this case and put on this case and see what the fitment is. It, it usually comes out pretty close when you're, when you're swapping like this. We may have to play with it if we were swapping gears, but since we're just swapping housings, we can usually just go and it'll be real close. This is in no way a dig to anybody else on YouTube but I don't have the patience to freeze or cook my bearings or anything else. I have this tool right here. And I like to use it because I'm lazy. Ta-da! One bearing. <laughs> all right, so we'll swap all the shims over. And then that one goes on that one. Okay. Off to the press. And we're we go. off to the squishy machine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if OSHA approves of this. <laughs> well, but see where we need to be. Yeah, yeah. For the heights. Okay, go. Good. We're very picky on who we let use the press because it's not safe. <laughs> and you get this ring gear off and get it on here. While you're doing that, I'm going to drill a hole in the diff housing. Perfect. Right now, there are real mechanics losing their mind. 
But luckily, we're not concerned because this is our stuff. And so there's a there's a torque spec for that bolt, or every one of those bolts actually. Uh, dug it, dug it, dug it, dug it. Yeah. As soon as that stops turning, we're good. Look. Look at the size of that one. Look, he's got a thumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he even operates. X, X. Yeah, X marks the spot. Right. That's the good break clean. <laughs> you can't buy that stuff in California. <laughs> the purpose of checking this is to verify that the gears are coinciding with each other. Stop laughing at me, Mike. I didn't even laugh. So, I didn't even giggle. I feel comfortable with it. I think it's going to be great. Oh, and check out this. We have created the uh, spot. Well, we got to take off the rubber nubber. Well, I think what I'm going to do is that. Oh, yeah. That's going to work. The bearing inside there has decided to... All the needles fall out? Yeah, but it's still savable. So the front's all done. It's got oil in it now. But well, check this out. Mike's got this all torn apart. He's excited. Yeah. Look at him. Look how, how excited he is to put a locker in this thing. Yeah. Hats are back in stock, I Ooh. believe. Yeah, trailmater.com. That's where you want to go, get the goods. So what's going on here, Mike? I thought uh, you'd have the locker in by now. The challenge is over here. Oh, right there. <laughs> the bearing <laughs> surfaces. <laughs> Let me show you over here. The challenge <laughs> is Rory. The distance between where the bearing rides and where the bearing rides is wider by about three sixteenths, maybe a quarter inch. So we need to machine this surface right here about an eighth of an inch on each side. It's a highly precision instrument of uh, mass destruction. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> Mikey's gone. He's gone. <laughs> That's about, looks like an eighth of an inch. I think it's gonna work. Still clean over there. Still clean. Look at that. That's like four days later. <laughs> That's a record. New record. So yeah, I'd say it's, uh, Ready for race day. Let's close it. All right, she ready. Front, rear, lockers. Ah. Sure, right, right in, now. Yeah, right, in. <laughs> right into a drive. Because this is the front, it's a neutral, this is the rear, it's in high. It's a double, it's in low. And then the one locker. There they are. Hold it, hold it, hold it. That 
that was the closest that one got that time. You got a vlog? You vlogging this, bro? All day for vlogging. <laughs> yeah. We got a YouTube channel. We got a oh, YouTube channel. Hey, hold up. Something's up with the fuel pump. I just filled it up too, but like... Right. Well, then that that's it. <laughs> Which one's a fuel relay? Might be able to swap it with one of the others and see if anything happens. Yeah, I'm not very good. I wish. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and try it. Yeah. Hold up. The relay's kicking on. Is the relay kicking on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting anything out of here, so. The relay's kicking on, so the power's going, everything's working. Okay. It's just, it's most likely the fuel tank, or fuel pump in the tank. So we're just gonna flat pull them out. It's literally right there. Nothing hard. Yeah. And then uh, get them down to mechanic shop. Let's keep a little tension on that rope. Yeah. Try not to run it over. Go through with hand signals. Passenger a little. There you go. I'm bad at this. What's that? I'm bad at this. <laughs> jamming the rear end, dropping down that. I know. That slope. I have a pretty firm understanding of how gravity works. <laughs> you busy, huh? Yeah. We're pretty busy. Nice, nice. How's it going? It's pretty sure it's fuel pump. Oh, yeah. I don't know if OSHA approves of this. <laughs> Why are you always going to bring ocean into this? 
I'm not saying I'm better than you, Mike. I'm just saying I have more opposable thumbs. All right. Yeah, you have better, harder working thumbs. <laughs> just like an X to send you big stick. <laughs> Oh god, that's <laughs> 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 Oh, emotional. Damn, <laughs> dad jokes are dying. <laughs>